Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial for day uh, day three in the eight-day tutorial. So the goals here are going to be to get five more parts uh, so that we have enough to get to Distant Spring in day four, and then grow 90 blues and get them, well, get, probably get them flowered on this day. You, you can also get them flowered on the next day, but uh, you need 90 blues to complete Distant Spring in one day. So first we're going to grab 74 reds and throw five on this gate. Three, four, five, six, seven... 70, 74 reds, I grab one extra. And then grab our yellows. Alright, make sure we have everyone. So we're gonna go down and we wanna kill uh, three of these blow hogs. So the way you want to deal with the blowhogs is you want to run up almost in front of them, but like not quite directly, just kind of to the side. And when they aggro on you, they'll turn towards you. And right when they do that, you want to swarm them with your Pikmin. Uh, and your Pikmin, if you have enough, like if you have you know 90, 90 Pikmin here, uh, you will be able to kill it before it's finished um, blowing fire. So, just like this. And keep a couple Pikmin with you, um, just so you can start killing these uh, grubs while uh, you're killing uh, that one Blowhog. So the grubs again, you just want to, just like the sheer wigs, or these are, these are sheer wigs actually, just like the grubs um, from day two, you're going to want to throw them on the head. Because uh, if they grab a Pikmin and they're in the mouth, then they will kill it um, like before they die. Uh, although if they get to half health, they'll start flying, in which case stand under them, and if you hit them with a Pikmin from the bottom, that will one-shot them as well. Uh, and so you want to pay attention with this one Blowhug we killed here. So he dropped a pellet, which means that the Breadbug is going to be coming to grab that pellet. Uh, if the Breadbug is here, he's not always here, he usually is, but not always. Uh, if he is here, uh, then you're going to want to uh, keep him on camera a little bit, like keep, keep him on and off camera. Uh, because if you keep him on camera too long, he'll start dragging it back to his hideout and he'll he'll go too far away. But if you keep him off camera for too long, he stops moving and his AI is programmed where if he's not moving for a long enough time, he thinks he's stuck and he'll bury himself on the ground and go back to his hideout, which we don't want to happen. So I'm keeping him on camera here while I'm going to go kill this other um, this other blowhog. And as I'm killing the other blowhog, I'll keep like at least two of the reds in my party and I'll use them to kill the bread bug, uh, which I'll explain how to do that when the time comes. Right, here I got four. So you need to hit the bread bug in the head, or I guess you need to land a Pikmin on him at least once, uh, and then when he gets dragged to the onion, that will be enough to kill him. If you just drag him to the onion, he won't quite die, which is why you need to hit him in the head first. All right, so now that that guy's uh, dealt with, we want to kill this one over here. And we want to throw some reds. We want to make sure to throw reds on this guy for 15 reds. Which is 67. And then collect the other ones with your remaining Pikmin. And all this stuff is just going to be used as fodder for the blues uh, when we grow them. Oh, uh, one's still there. Alright, and once everything gets about here, you can whistle off. And just to be safe if you want, you can uh, just go into the map here, make sure you have everyone. Looks like there's a red over there that I left. So I'm gonna grab him. And then when I get here, I am going to separate my reds and my yellows and throw all my reds onto this gate here. And you don't want to be too close to this wall when you throw them, because if you are, then your Pikmin will kind of hit the wall and bounce off. So just be a little bit away from the wall and then throw your yellows up on the ledge to the right here but also not very close to the bridge, because if they're too close, then they'll, they'll grab onto the bridge as well. So keep that in mind. Sometimes those reds, actually not sometimes, always, those, a few reds will not want to uh, start working on the gate. So you gotta whistle them and then dismiss them next to the gate. And so I'm gonna walk by 
the, uh, I think this is the gravity jumper. I'm gonna walk by the gravity jumper to uh, go to the bomb rocks over here. Don't touch the gravity jumper with Olimar. If you do, sometimes the yellow will grab onto the gravity jumper and it'll mess you up. So just stay to the right here, hug the right wall a little bit so that you don't touch it. And so I see there's a bomb that's outside of the, uh, that's outside of the pipe here. Um, if there's any bombs outside of the pipe, throw a Pikmin to that bomb and then you can swarm in the pipe. If you don't see any bombs that are on the other side of the pipe here, then you can just swarm in the pipe. So I'm going to throw one here and then swarm the rest in there. And I'm going to wait till I have my 15 so that I know I can start throwing. There we go. Occasionally, uh, oh, a yellow will not grab a bomb and still go back into your party. And then if you throw it up on the, on the ledge, that lose some time. Just got to go around to grab it. Alright, uh, so now we're going to go, this is probably the hardest area of the day, is going to uh, PD Long Legs and the, the Pup Stool. The Pup Stool is not that hard, but PD Long Legs is probably the hardest boss in this game. So... We first want to distract this Wallywog, so actually I'm going to go into the overhead cam real quick. You see there's kind of the dark dirt to my right and the light dirt to my left. I want to stand kind of in the center of that dirt uh, to distract him um, and make him jump over here. Uh, if you if you make him jump kind of in, in that line, uh, then he will be far enough away that so that he won't get aggroed on the Omega Stabilizer as it goes uh, above me, and he won't get aggroed on the uh, Interstellar Radio, I think it is, as it goes to the left. So as soon as he jumps, you can, you can move. All right. Now I want to get my yellows and throw six bombs. Actually five there, not a huge deal. I'll just throw one more. Get my yellows over here and grab my reds. So the way I deal with the puff stool, which is it's it's slightly slower than possible, but it's, it's a really easy way to do it, is so keep him off screen because uh, you don't want him moving around. You want him to stay in his spawn position until you get there, and uh, when you get there, uh, you want to hold C up and down on the control stick so that Olimar is facing away from him and dismiss your Pikmin. That will make all of your Pikmin uh, swarm on him really... It's, it's honestly a little more effective than just C sticking into him. I don't know why it just is. So uh, C stick up towards him, down the control stick and press X, and your Pikmin will dismiss and grab onto him. After about like maybe two seconds, he'll flip. Uh, it's kind of just a timing thing you need to get used to of like knowing when he's about to flip. Before he flips, whistle all of your Pikmin off of him because if he flips and your Pikmin are still attacking him, some of them will get pushed under the map and die. So uh, keep that in mind. So he is off screen until now. Dismiss. And I want to throw 30 on him. I had 67, so I should have 37. And then dismiss my rest over here. And then, so as soon as he dies, you want to move in and have Olimar stand in the center of the Omega Stabilizer. Its hitbox for like pushing Olimar away doesn't activate for a sec, um, but you can still swarm it before that happens. And that's a really easy way to swarm it without swarming the, uh, uh, the puff stool. So you want to get your 30 on there. Okay, I missed two, but there we go. And then whistle these guys. And I want to throw 10 on here because I want them to carry that um, to the blue onion. Let me just make sure, all right, cool. So occasionally they'll miss and not grab it, or like one will, will be aggro. So I'm gonna make a, or a, a, not pick it up. I'm gonna make a save state here. Save state to state one. So there are two ways to kill BD Longlegs here. I You can kill him with yellows, I really recommend just learn it with reds. I find it a lot easier um, once you get the timing down and it's a lot quicker, which makes the later parts of the day with catching the, uh, the puff stool easier. Um, but even within reds, either what you can do is dismiss your reds here, walk into the center of the arena, uh, wait for him to fall and then grab your reds. Or what I like to do is just walk into the center with my reds, and if you start throwing at the correct timing, 
you can land all your reds on him as he spawns and you get a quick kill on him essentially. Um, but one other thing I want to explain about BD is whether he drops quickly or slowly. So because I got the bread bug earlier in the day, because I got that bread bug, there are going to be sprouts in the ground next to the red onion. For whatever reason, if there are sprouts in the ground, BD falls slowly, meaning after I enter the arena, it takes about like four seconds for him to fall. If I did not get the bread bug at the beginning of the day and I enter the center of the arena, he will immediately fall um, and he could crush Pikmin. Which in that case, uh, for a beginner, I would recommend, if you did not get the bread bug, dismiss your Pikmin here, walk into the center so he immediately falls, and then grab your reds. Um, but because he's going to be falling slowly, I can show the quick kill, which, I mean, I I'm, I'm just going to do it and then explain what's happening afterwards. So, I stand in this spot, aim right about here. And then I listen to the music for the timing. So there's a different music that starts playing when you enter the center of the arena. My audio cue is, as soon as I le like stand in that certain spot I was standing, I count to eight and a half beats in the song, where it goes like, duh, 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 duh. I count eight and a half of those, and then I start seasick throwing. Um, and if you do it correctly, at least four Pikmin will be, will like kind of be inside his body when he falls, and they'll grab him. If you have at least four Pikmin on him, his body will always be low enough to continue throwing reds on him. Uh, if you have three or fewer, they will not be able to reach, but because I have at least four on him, I can throw the rest of my reds and uh, get all... I had 27 on him um, before he starts moving his legs around. And then... He's gonna throw some off. You just want to whistle as soon as he throws them off and then throw seven over here. So that's, I mean, that was a quick kill. I've, I've done this fight a lot. It's not that easy. That is probably the biggest thing you will need to practice as a beginner is that fight. Um, and I'm gonna make another save state just cause I like where I am here. Save state two. And then I'm gonna show what to do uh, if, if you don't feel safe uh, just doing the quick kill like that. So if you don't feel safe doing the quick kill like that, dismiss your reds here. Alright, at this point he's activated, so he's going to drop from the arena. So I can get my reds again. Alright, and now I go under his body. And I wait for his, uh, after, I don't know, it's a random number of stomps, but 12 or so usually. Uh, he stops stomping and his body lowers. At that point you'll throw your reds on, just like I did uh, for the quick kill. And then everything from there on is the same. So... Also, definitely go into the overhead camera for this. It makes it a lot easier. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. That was some pretty bad luck, but... Alright, there we go. And that is the non-quick kill version of the. So I'm gonna go back to here. All right, so this is after the quick kill. Uh, we throw our 20 reds on there. And um, I don't like to swarm it, because sometimes uh, a red will grab a one pellet and I don't notice, but that's personal preference. Uh, be careful when you go through here. Um, there are always a bunch of uh, sugars and sherwigs there. You'll have to dodge and weave a little bit, and they're in random places. Um, sometimes you can get away with just hugging the right wall, but not this time. And also, if you're wondering why they did not eat the Pikmin that walked by with the Omega Stabilizer, uh, it's because they don't actually activate if Pikmin are there. It's only if Olimar is there. So, we're good. And this is one of the reasons why... So that the puff stool is still all the way back here. We have plenty of time before we need to stop it near the blue onion. That's why I like doing the quicker kill where you just go right under BD immediately. So we're going to bring all the rest of our Pikmin here. And destroy that with six bombs. I missed one. Alright, now that that's done, we want to grab our yellows. And three reds. And so also at this point, if you were a little slow earlier and the Omega Stabilizer is near that gate that you just destroyed, you'll also want to whistle those Pikmin. Since it's not there yet, uh, I'm only whistling the 
uh, Popstool Pikmin. So here we're going to want to throw our three bombs on this wall. They won't destroy it, so we're going to leave five reds here uh, to destroy it, and we'll leave them behind at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter, because reds are fairly useless for the rest of the run. Alright. So at this point, if you grab the Omega Stabilizer uh, Pikmin early, you should have 42, and you can just go straight to the, uh, I think it's the Gravity Jumper. If not, and you were fast, then you uh, head to back up here to grab it. Alright, so now we have our 42. That's good. And we're going to walk on down to the Omega Stabilizer. I like to make sure everyone grabs it. Um, occasionally someone won't. Like there. In which case, you put it on. There we go. And now we're going to head over to the blue onion. Ideally, I actually think I would have liked to uh, stop that. The puff still may be around here. So be a little closer to the blue onion. But, yeah. So at this point, uh, there's not really anything else we're doing other than growing blues. Uh, there, there are a couple parts that aren't back that we need to, they're like right next to the base that we need to grab. But other than that, we're just growing blues. And while this guy is growing, I am going to destroy a few pellet posies. Uh, also, actually, one thing I, I forgot to mention earlier. So, if you had um, more than 90 Pikmin on the field, when you uh, threw the three bomb rocks on that black gate and then put the five reds there, if you had more than 90, throw reds in the water and drown them until you only have 90, because we need room for 10 uh, blues on the field here. And that could happen depending on how many... Pikmin you uh, took out at the beginning, or depending on what um, what color pellet the red bug grabbed. A lot of the times, though, like if you if you lose uh, Pikmin to BD, you will probably have fewer than 90 on the field, so you'll be fine. Put these five there. Uh, we got a little lucky with that cutscene. Um, because that cutscene happened while these guys were growing, they're already already finished growing. Uh, so also, one thing you'll notice, I sped up that five pellet instead of grabbing these, because I could have grabbed these with those two Pikmin instead, but I want to get to 100 Pikmin on the field quicker, and the quickest way to do that was to speed up that five pellet. Um, but while I'm waiting for those guys to grow, I'm gonna grab those pellets. Alright, so now we have 10, and if you have more than 10, that's also fine. It, it actually makes this a little easier, uh, grabbing the puff stool. If you have more than 10, just put them all on here. Uh, watch out, because sometimes, because it's like kind of clipping into the wall there, they don't all like to grab it. Yeah, see, one's being troublesome here. Where is he? There we go. Alright, so now all ten are grabbing it, and they'll head on over to the blue onion. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to grab the Pikmin and get the Omega Stabilizer over here, and the Space... what is it? Space Float? I think it's called the Space Float. I'm going to start this moving first, because uh, this is the slower thing. Make sure no one gets left behind. Cool, we're good. Uh, also, that bread bug you can use to get yellows if you need to. There was actually a uh, there was a Pikmin on the ground there. I was trying to pluck, but because it's been in the ground long enough, it actually disappeared. 
So, it doesn't really matter, because there's a red, and I don't really need reds. Alright, I'm really just lagging a little bit here. But now that the puff stool is back in the onion, and we have gotten all the parts here, uh, this area cutscene here means we got enough to get to Distant Spring. Now that's all good, I'm going to put 36 Pikmin back, so, uh, so I, I need to put 36 back, so I see I started with 6 in there, so there should be 42 in there. Um, and just dismiss the rest there. So 46 is enough to grab the rest of the bodies. I actually want to start with this one because it's the farthest away. Ooh, a bit of a traffic jam there. Alright, they're going though. And as soon as they're moving, I'm going to go back here. Grab everyone. Oh, here's my red. That was the guy from before. Alright, now as soon as the last body goes in, I can put all of my reds back. And so actually, the fastest thing to do here would be just to end the day now. We have our 90 blues, we've got our parts, and we can flower in Distant Spring. Um, if you're fine doing that, which there's like a... It, it makes Distant Spring in one day a little harder, so I, as a beginner, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you have extra time in, in this day. Um, so, we're just going to put everyone but five yellows back. And then grab our remaining blues. So we should have 90 here that we can flower. We ended up with 91 blues total, that's fine. Um, I don't think we really will ever use that one, but, you know, say, say one dies in Distant Spring and you want to grab it, you can get it. Uh, so the best way to get nectar here is to go around here and there are some guaranteed nectar drops from the honey wisps over here. So I'm just going to grab a yellow. And you're usually not going to get everyone nectared. It's possible, but it's hard. So the other honey wisp is if you go here. Uh, there's usually a honey wisp, although not this time. Oh, I, I activated it earlier. That's right. There's an extra patch here, though. And so there's an extra. And there's a honey wisp there, apparently. I'm not sure what, what that one's from. Um, but as soon as you everyone flowered and in your party, you can have the day.